Here we go, another screencasting video tutorial. Today it's the Windows 10 Start menu. There are two sections on the left. Well, it will remind you of the old school Start menu, while the right is very Windows 8. But don't let that run you off, it's pretty cool. And it has live tiles, etc. Back to the left though, let's start there and you have instant access to all apps, power for your PC, settings, don't say it out loud, control panel, and file explorer. Up top is a list of the most used programs, and some of those might have a drop-down list with recent files, perhaps URLs used inside that app, and don't tell anyone I actually still open up images quickly using paint. I know, I know. Okay, on the right side I've already done some organizing, but let's scroll down and show you what you might see after you upgrade. Microsoft has created some groups that may or may not be what you need based on your personal and or business needs. Now, since I do all this multimedia stuff, the first thing I did was put the applications I use most in some groups that make sense for my needs. Scroll back up here, you can see I have a production group with the audio and video programs I use every day. Below that is my office suite in Evernote. And next I have a group for remote control programs I use to access outside computers, do a little support on the side, etc. So let's have a look at personalizing the start menu. First is that list of recent programs. You can make them go away. You can do them one at a time. Simple as this, just right click on it. But for a more permanent solution, go to Settings, Personalization, and Start, where you can turn them all off and have some other options to show or hide recently added apps. You start full screen. You turn that on and, well, welcome back to Windows 8. You also have an option to control jump lists. Okay, let's move back to the right and take a look at creating your own app groups. As mentioned, I've already put my main ones together, but I'm going to remove my remote group here and rebuild it so you can see the process. Have a look at the tile options first. Unpin from start, resize. You can put them in several different sizes. Unpin from the taskbar, uninstall. And yes, that means uninstall the application. Run as administrator, handy to have that there. And open file location. If you've ever tried to reassociate some files with an application and have no idea where to find it, open file location is very handy. I'm going to unpin from the start menu and once they're both gone, you'll notice that the group is now gone too. So now we'll rebuild that group from scratch. First, I'll just go to All Apps, find Log Me In, and then drag it over to the tiles. And notice Windows is trying to intuitively lay it down where it hovers. But if I continue to slowly drag it to the top, it drops there and creates a new group. I'll go back to All Apps, find Team Viewer, and drag it up there too. Finally, I'll click on the group name, and the field opens up so I can rename it. But you know what? I don't want it on top. So I'll just click and drag on the name here and put it back between my office suite and life at a glance. That's it. I'll close with customizing the colors on the start menu and taskbar. It's under settings and then colors. Now right now it's on automatic, but let's turn that off and then I can select the color I want. The show color on start, taskbar, and action center makes the background of those elements use this color. The make start, taskbar, and action center transparent does just that makes it slightly see-through, or if it's off, completely opaque. All right, there's the Windows 10 Start menu at a glance. Thanks for watching, and be sure to give us your comments or suggestions at screencastic at gmail.com.